In the name of Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello everyone. I'm Father Andrew. It's uh, lovely to see you again. And today uh, we have uh, Jesus' word, the word of God. Uh, Matthew chapter 13, uh, verse 18 to 23. Jesus continued to explain about his word. How uh, can we understand about the word of God? Obviously, when we listen to the word of God, we have uh, many different ways. Somebody listen but forget quickly. Somebody listen and uh, in a write in uh, his diary or in a note to remember it. Somebody listen and then continually think or pray with uh, the word of God. And somebody listen the word of God and put in heart and uh, reflect it and meditate it and finally act with uh, the word of God. So I would like to ask you, how about you? When you listen to the Word of God, you just uh, listen and forget it. Or write in your note or you know, the, uh, uh, thinking about the Word of God. Or uh, reflect, pray uh, for the Word of God. Or you just uh, keep in your heart. And also you want uh, practice with the Word of God in your daily life. My dear brothers and sisters, it's very important that the Word of God is uh, like our food and drink. Without food and drink, obviously, we could not uh, good and uh, or beautiful, healthy for our uh, salutation. It's so important to listen to the Word of God and pray with the Word of God. So the Word of God, is God uh, Himself, or more powerful, more you know, the uh, grace uh, contains uh, Himself, the Word of God, uh, because of the presence of the uh, Holy Spirit. So many times we think, how can you have, or how can we understand the presence of the Holy Spirit in our life? Obviously, the Holy Spirit comes uh, through the Word of God. So if we listen carefully to the Word of God and keep in our heart and mind, reflect and pray with them, and finally we can make uh, or, you know, the act in our life with the Word of God. If you know, the Word of God is uh, like uh, many other humans' word. Listen and then you know the will be gone you know, through the air in uh, in our life. But how important to make sure about the word of God? How important and powerful for human spiritual life? So Jesus said, "Listen carefully uh, with the word of God." You can make many things. With the Word of God, we have a beautiful uh, relationship with God the Father who art in heaven. With the Word of God, we can receive lots of powerful energy from the Holy Spirit. We know Holy Spirit is here in our heart, but our heart is sometimes good, but sometimes less good. So how can you do? Our heart keeps continually being good and good worthy, listening to the Word of God, listening continually to the Word of God and meditating. The Word of God keeps us and protects us and guides us, obviously. The presence of God and also about our daily life. My dear brothers and sisters, it is so important. Jesus said, Hear then the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path, the seed sown on rocky ground, the seed sown among thorns, the seed sown on rich soil. So, what is more important for us? 
The seed sown on rich soil means we listen carefully to the word of God and keep in our heart. With this word of God, we pray, we meditate, we reflect. Finally, we'll be blossom in our daily life. Another word, action. Without act or action, obviously, our faith would be die. So how gracious, how important first to listen carefully the word of God in our heart. So my dear brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are here. In the name of a Holy Spirit, we are living in the name of a God the Father, who is a merciful, infinite love. We are in forever. With this uh, blessing, uh, may we have a beautiful and holy and wonderful day and time. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.